Now we have got our collar prepared, the under collar, upper collar, row line basted in, looking nice. Now we're ready to apply this to the neckline of the coat. So we've got all of this hanging out. I'm going to baste everything together here around the neckline. Okay. Now, first of all, here on the lapel part, see here's the roll line. I'm going to clip a little past the roll line, and I'm going to turn that seam allowance under. This is nice. It's going to go along my tape at the neckline, and I'm going to base that in place. This is the gorge line, you see, when the collar gets on. Mm -hmm. That's going to be your gorge line. So it's an important part. Go to the other side, do the same thing. <laughs> right? Right. Have you to thank, Angela. <laughs> Side with all the lining, and I'm going to baste the neckline together here. Remember, we cut the shoulder of that lining an inch mm -hmm. higher, mm -hmm. so let's just turn that under as if we had. So we've got the tape in the neckline. And you're basting right along the edge of the tape? Right, it's pretty much at that seam allowance.
go to the outside of the coat. See, everything's holding in place around the neckline. So I am going to mark. Uh, Muna, can you grab the chalk? Please, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And your half an inch seam allowance. You might want to mark it. I can kind of see where I've got my base in there. This is on the outside of the coat. based the under collar right to my line. First I'm going to check to make sure that both of these are the same length. Base at the gorge line first. Oops, I might have to get some thread first. such a mess. Oh, there we go. totally to my line. A little bit of base on this side. You notice I'm having a little trouble with this needle. It's not sharp enough. Then I'm going to go to the other side. And then I'm going to match my under collar the rest of the way around and baste on my line and we'll come back for the next step. 